Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play of a brand new game just came out today. Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. Now, I am excited for this because quite a few years ago, uh, one of my Christmas presents was a box full of books like it usually is, and one of those books was this one. Uh, if you didn't know, this is based off of a very long novel. One that I recommend that you yourself read because it is an amazing novel. Uh, like I said, it's very long. It's almost a thousand pages in very small print and all that, but well worth the read. So I had this for quite some time, but I didn't read it, and I didn't read it. It was just sitting on my shelf. Uh, it's not that I didn't want to. It was just so hard to find time with so many of the books in my backlog. But finally, a few months ago, I picked it up and started reading it. When I was about in the middle of it, all of a sudden... Out of the blue, I see a trailer for a brand new game from Daedalic Entertainment for this very game based on that very book. That was quite the coincidence, I must say, but it did get me very excited because I had already fallen in love with the book when I was that much through, and uh, for the entire thing, like I said, I recommend you do as well. But for now, we have the game. So, let us see what this game has in store for us. This is completely blind because, uh, like I said, this just came out. I just bought it, just downloaded it. And, um, uh, as you can see, it'll come in three parts. Unfortunately, parts two and three are not out yet. So, this uh, Let's Play will kind of have to take a break for a bit once part one is done. But that's fine. Um, and yeah, not much else to say from there. Just a heads up, a fair warning before we start this. From what I can see from the trailer and from what I've read in the book, this is going to be very, very violent. Lots of blood, lots of killing. So be aware of that. Also, another thing, I don't know uh, how they've handled this in the game, but the book also has a few scenes of rape that are uh, pretty bad. They work definitely for the story to... Uh, sort of uh, give characters motivation and all that, but uh, well, I don't think the game will be too harsh on that because visual mediums uh, tend to sort of lighten up on that account, but fair warning for anyone who uh, might be squeamish about this kind of thing. Let us begin. Um, okay. I probably don't need the tutorial, but let's see if there's any storyline attached to it. First of all, the art style is just awesome. Walk by left clicking where you want to go. Okay, I could have guessed that. If you cursor around the room, when it changes to the uh, click the right mouse button multiple times to think about the object. Masterfully crafted. Sally knows what she's doing. Strange when your children surpass you. Hmm. What's that about? See all objects, characters, and exes you can interact with. Click and hold the mouse wheel or press and hold the space bar. Yes, that's what I love about Data Lake Entertainment is that they do that for you. Okay, so uh, let's click on the tools and interact with those. And I have a feeling I know who we're playing right now. But uh, it might be a spoiler. Inventory is displayed at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side. Click on the tools to equip them. Tools are now equipped. Left click on something to use them. Okay. Oh, whoops. And uh, it kind of glitched out there, it looks like. There we go. Now I'm doing it right. Looks like he sort of slid over to the right. Whoops. This game may need a few patches before it's uh, completely done. Talk to Sally. Hmm. Left click to choose your answer. Later in the game, you can skip lines of dialogue by clicking left. We have to get your daughter's attention. Cough to get it. Let's wave. Let's be friendly. Now, from what I understand, oh, whoa. One is, uh, wait for the timer to run out. 
Uh, let's ask her to come with us. There will be voice acting in the game, I promise, but I guess just not yet. Yeah, from what I understand from the game, it's sort of like a telltale game where, um, your choices matter and will affect the ending, so you can change the events of the book, as it was saying. But, um, I'm going to try to sort of keep it as true to the book as I possibly can, from what I remember. It's been a while since I finished the book. And with, you know, almost a thousand pages, it's not like I'm going to remember every nuance of every event. Shiring England. 11.35. So yeah, this is a long time ago, all the way back in the 12th century. This should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. But I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses. Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. It took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Oh, and we're playing now, and uh, this, right, this guy right here, my uh, favorite character, I won't name him yet just in case it might be a spoiler, although I don't think it will be. We have some flint. Let's make a fire. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No. It'll be proper water for my family. Yeah, eating snow, not a good idea. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? Well, if I know Tom Builder well enough. You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just... Promise me you'll think about it. I need to find some proper water. Let's take this quest. Clue. You just clicked the clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them, and use them on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might be connected. Yeah, I believe in the book he actually um, did reject some sort of job just maintaining a wall. Alfred. Oh, we could listen sell. to me. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can turn subtitles on. Just because I usually like to do that in um, 
Let's plays. Let's see. Um, oh, which one is it going to be? It's always a. It was a crapshoot trying to find. Wait, did I already do that one? I did, didn't I? In game interface. Audio. No. Language. Subtitles. There we go. Uh, let's talk to Agnes, our lovely but very pregnant wife. I'll be right back. I know. And we have our lovely daughter Martha. And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut up our dinner. Good girl. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. <laughs> Thank you. And our strapping young son Alfred. Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! He's a bit broody. But if I know Tom Builder, we'll just let it slide. Don't mind him, dear. Boys must act tough if they want to get by. Is that so? I guess if what I know of the characters from the events of the book and all that, I'll try to make decisions based on that. So let's use the clue on Agnes. Stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Just don't stroll too far. All right. How about you, Agnes? Er, Martha, you know anything about water? Any idea where I could find some water? Papa, no. I'm doing my job and you have to do yours. Anything else would be unfair. I like Martha. <laughs> Alfred, you, you can see help. A river nearby? No. Just woods. <sighs> or you could just sit there and be broody. All right. Let's uh, grab our staff. Can you see the sun yet? No. But Martha. Don't distract me. I'm working. Oh yeah, things like that are used by our architects, the Nomon, to, I believe, uh, see the horizon line, to uh, mm -hmm. see if everything's level. I'm fine. Okay, Tom Staff. Tom received his mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter 1125. He uses it to lay the groundwork for new buildings. The shadow can tell time and point out the east, the direction that a church must always face. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral. And initially... It was like any other job. His master builder often scolded him for not working up to standard. Soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and the almost magical formulas for solid structures. The staff reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. Interesting. So yeah, I guess that was a little bit different. I know there's a tool that I would like what I was talking about, but this isn't it. All right. Yeah, good for Tom, you know, if, uh, working hard and figuring out the right way to do things. Oh, sorry, Martha. We'll get you some food and water soon enough. Let's, uh, go over in this direction. Into the forest. Aren't you forgetting something? Or are you planning to carry the water with your bare hands? Don't die, I feel like a dummy. <laughs> Thank you, Agnes. I like Salisbury. I wish we had stayed. They had no um, work for your father. Oh, what? here we go. I can work. You're a mason, just like Tom. If he can't find work, you can't either. So I guess their son's uh, taken after our trade. Hopefully he'll uh, get a better attitude later on. One of the last things we haven't had to sell yet. That's depressing. Hell, when you this... The story um is not all happy sunshine and rainbows. There are going to be some Can very get a job when we arrive sad, in sad events. Hey, look at that frozen puddle. Frozen puddle of water. It is better than that. Oh, but if we cook it, it'll be fine. Okay. <coughs> Out. Too hard for my fist. But my pot should break it. All right. Using pot to break the ice, that always helps. 
Houses and sheds. Oh, dang it. Oh. I think it was really fast. Okay, let's try that again. Walls and roofs. <laughs> Are those his, uh... His curses? so much better. But I have to feed my family. Yeah, I'm not sure you can actually get any game overs or anything like that in this game. This is going to sort of, uh progress on its own and my main job is just going to be uh, to make decisions. I love the animations for this. It's 2D but it sort of has this sort of pseudo 3D look to it ever so often. Mom, what's keeping you? Oh, be patient, Agnes. That should do. Let's get this water a boiling. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Um. I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Um, let's start with the walls. Those are nice. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Now, we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. But isn't it still dark in there? It is. That's why we need some... Oh, so what do you suggest? So, what do you suggest? Windows, of course. <laughs> right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportion when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. It will give them hope. This? Mama? Oh no. <laughs> There's too much blood. The baby is coming. But it's not you. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Look at all the blood. <laughs> I 
Okay, oh jeez, what do we do? Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. W will she die? She'll die, right? Come on, Alfred. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Okay, let's hold her. So we can cover her up. Oh, your hands are cold. Oh, okay. A woman for you. No, stay here, please. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? Look around. Children. Yeah, you two are going to need to help. Martha! Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. What about me? You... Get some warm water. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. Hope those are the right things to do. Okay, um, Agnes. What else can I do? What else can I do? Keep me warm. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I'm here with you. I know. Oh, that's not gonna help, is it? Remember when Martha was born, and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a little wolfhound pups, and she took us to her own chamber. Poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Well, the water's warm now. Put it next to me. Okay. Warm water. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but it was right next to the uh, options thing. Okay, there we it's go. It's not long now. Be ready. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm here with you. I know. What else can I do? What else can I do? Keep me warm. Okay. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. <laughs> Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. 
Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. And that was the prologue. Like I said, not the happiest game at some moments. But I believe there is still going to be a glimmer of hope as we progress through. Sadly, from what I've seen, I don't think we play as Tom Builder anymore, although he will play a very prominent role throughout the book. Or throughout the game, should I say. I don't know, I'm probably going to refer to this as a book a lot, but, um... Either way... I'm definitely going to enjoy this experience. I hope you will as well. This is Pillars of the Earth. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. Well, 
Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I I'll get it down to the Priory later. Fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? So what, oh what does that mean? Find out next time on Let's Play The Pillows of the Earth. Thank you for watching and have a good day.